What we are looking at is a fine painting by one of Switzerland's most interesting painters of the early 20th century, Rodolphe Théophile Bossart or Bossart. He grew up in the region of Lausanne and as a young boy he already showed keen interest in painting and drawing. And when he expressed his desire to go and study at the academy to his mother, she was advised by a close friend of the family that there were already too much young artists and that they should be drawn, just as they did with little cats at the time. But Bossard persisted and he got to study at the Académie de Beaux-Arts in Geneva. As a young painter, he lives in Switzerland and mainly paints marvelous female nudes, still lives and strong mountain landscapes. By 1920, after a period of personal distress and some relational problems, he travels to Paris. And his Paris years will be a true turning point for his career. He will get acquainted with artists such as Ossip Zadkin, Marc Chagall or André Derain. And art critics at the time list him among the most important painters of that period. By 1925, Bossard will exhibit alongside work of Picasso and Chagall at the gallery Jeanne Boucher, and in 29, he features in an exhibition together with Modigliani at the gallery Zac. And in this painting, probably painted in 1924, while he was working and living in Paris, we see some correlation with the style of Modigliani. It is a room in which a lady is reclining, a baby is lying on her belly and a man in a blue collar worker's uniform is looking outwards on the chimneys of the factories. We can date this painting around 1924 because in that same year he painted a rather similar painting showing the same blue figure entering the orange factories with the high chimneys. It's the first time that this painting surfaces on the art market and until now it was unknown to the Association Rodolphe Théophile Bossard. So we invite you to come and have a closer look to this special painting during our viewing days from the 30th of November until the 4th of December and to delve into this fascinating and understated oeuvre of this most interesting artist.